Let's look at this table a little bit closely. So we've got road condition, and the roads are dry roads, wet roads, icy roads. And then over here we've got number of beers. So what we're looking at is the mean number of obstacle contacts. I guess that means how many things did they hit in this test. They're driving the car after they drink some beer. So how many obstacles did they impact, did they hit? Of course, if you drink more beer, you probably hit more obstacles. And these are means. So that helps us understand that inside this table are these means. Okay, down here is road condition, and then here's number of beers. It's getting a little bit hard to understand. I think this is number of beers. Zero beers, one beer, two beers, four beers, eight beers. But the problem here is that if this was the heading of a column, it should be telling us what's going down here. But actually that's not true because these numbers are not beers. These numbers are obstacles hit, a mean number of obstacles contacted. This is getting very confusing. So I think this, try, this user tried to put a heading on here to cover all of these numbers, but that didn't make much sense. Let's look at a different example down here. So the better way to write this would be, and you can see already it's shorter, the condition is here, very clear. So this is the heading for this column. And then this is the heading for this column. And then this is the heading for this column. So this is telling us one beer drunk resulted in four, a mean of four impacts on dry roads, nine obstacle impacts on wet roads, and 17 on icy roads. And then down here we have a nice note, maximum score 60 and the subsample of 20 per cell. So in each cell we have 20 people, 20 participants. So I think the key here is keeping that column heading very clear. Let's look at a couple more examples here. So in this one, table six, effects of victim reaction and social influence on bystander intervention. So we have the victim screaming. So we have the column, yes, the victim screamed. No, the victim did not scream. And then over here we have a total. What's this total? Hmm, that's interesting. And then we have the M over here, so the mean. And then we have a mean down here also. And so here we have the setting. So this should be the heading of this column. We have two settings, along and in groups. Should that be alone instead of a typo? And in group, alone and in group. And so what's happening here? Well, this number here would be in the group setting that was with other people 15 times a person screamed and nine times a person didn't scream when they were in a group. But when they were alone, not in a group, then it was 17 times screaming. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So what's the problem with this one? We'll write down here this total. This is using up a whole section of our table, but what's it doing that for? What's the point of doing that? We need to save space in our table. If the user, if the reader can calculate the numbers themselves, then don't add it in. So in this case, we want to not have something like total because it's easy to calculate the total myself. I can see it. So what about the mean, M? Well, the mean we can't calculate ourselves because the mean is calculated from the formula. So that is not something we can calculate. Okay, so the example down here is correct. Very simple, straightforward. Column, 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 column. In fact, in this table, I would even say that the mean you might cut out to make the table simpler, easier to understand. Because the mean we can calculate ourselves as long as we know the 
size of the groups, how many people are in the groups. Now that's not reported here, so we don't really know it. But if it was reported in a note, then we can just go ahead and even cut that out.